Alright, what's up YouTube? Doggo405, back with something even more different than anything else I've done so far. You know how, like, for most of you that have watched, like, so, like, like almost any of my, like, most of my videos, actually, you, you would know my friend over 9,000 chains. Well, me and him were talking, like, the other day about, like, dueling each other, like, using certain archetypes. And we came up with the idea of starting up, like, a series of that. And, like, so far we've got, like, a list of, like, over 50 archetypes, so that's gonna be a long-ass series already. But, like, but, like, I'm still looking for a few more. I mean, we already have some of the old-school archetypes, like Ancient Gear, E-Hero, Crystal Beast. We already have some of those down on the list. We also have some of the more new-school archetypes, um... Actually, I don't know if they're all that new, because Six Sam is kind of old, um, Ninja, I think, is pretty recent. But like we still got some like we're like we're still got like we have a ton of archetypes listed down. We just want to see like what archetypes do you want to see definitely between this kind of a challenge. And like also like with like a few kind of the rules of it, like we aren't going to be choosing what decks we use. We're going to be, like we have them all like in a list on a piece of paper. We're going to be using a random number generator to decide what deck we use against like which one. So we can't. Like, if he's using Crystal Beast, I can't, like, if, like, he randomly chose to use Crystal Beast, I can't go and choose, like, E-Hero to try to counter it or something. Even though I don't think e Hero is a good counter to Crystal Beast. But, that's not the point. Like, like, really, we're gonna be, like, like, our decks are gonna be randomly decided through Random Number Generator. And, like, each deck is only gonna be used once by either of us. So, let's say, or, like... So basically, he could use Crystal Beast, I could use E-Hero. Only one of us could use one, like, like if he uses Crystal Beast, he's the only one that could have used it. I can't. So basically there's, like, like we plan on getting at least 60, um, like, archetypes on the list. We have, like, around, like, 53 right now. So, like, in the comments down below, I'd like for you to, like, name off a couple of archetypes that you'd like to see, like, used in this, because I basically just wanted to, like, a website that had a bunch of the lists of, um, archetypes and stuff, and copied down, like, the first 50 I saw. And also, like, with one of the kind of rules with it, is, like, it cannot, like, like, I'm such a, like, you can't, you could use cards that are not of that archetype, but it cannot take up a majority of the deck. Most of it has to be from that archetype. So basically, like um, over nine thousand chains, he likes to throw in a few light swords into into his, like in a couple of his decks. He could do that, but if his archetype is light swords, he has to use a majority of light swords. Has to be mostly light swords. He can't. He cannot. He cannot use his own um, like like his dark sworn or dragon sworn deck that he usually uses, because that's mostly either dark or dragon, depending on which one it were to be. It would have to be a majority of light swords. You could throw in a couple other cards to help you out, but it cannot be, like, fully that. So, basically just wanted to go over the rules and also see, like, what you guys, like, think about this kind of series. Because it's probably going to be one of the longest lasting series on either of our channels. And I just wanted, like, wanted to give you guys a head up, heads up of what, of, like, what's going to be going on. I don't know how often we're going to be able to upload this kind of thing. Because it takes time for us to, like, even though we do it on Dueling Network and Dueling Network gives us all the cards that we want to use, it still takes time for us to create the deck around the archetype and then try to figure out a couple strategies with it. Because, come on, we're not the freaking, well, actually, over 9,000 chains claims he's the king of games. Let's just go with this. I'm not the king of games. I cannot just use any deck and be good with it. So... For, so like like this could like be a series that comes out like once every week, once every month, once every three years, but it probably won't be that. But seriously, like don't expect this to be a series that's gonna be happening constantly, because we still have like real like our own personal lives to deal with outside of YouTube, and then also with having to try to figure out strategies with this deck. So yeah, in the comments down below. It's like, um, list off a couple archetypes that you'd like to see in this kind of competition. Because, like, once we get 60 of them on the list, like, we will probably start. If we if we don't have 60 on the, like, list by, like, I don't know. Because we'll probably start, like, up, we'll probably start this series, like, maybe a few days after this has been uploaded. But, yeah. So, name off a couple, um, archetypes that you'd like us to use. 
and please do not go with like something like please don't try to go with an argument like saying oh like just because his archetype was supposed to be like light sworn doesn't mean he can't just use a sub like use it as a sub part of his deck no because that would be breaking one of like the rules so really i don't want any of you arguing with us like on how our deck was like designed because like i don't want you to like be saying like oh he only lost because he was running light swarms and you're supposed to only put a few light swarms in and use some other thing but with the rules it says you have to use most of them most of that home archetype that was chosen for you so please do not try to argue with like us like because like Honestly, people, like, will get mad, like, because I pull p stupid plays that sometimes work, sometimes screw me over, sometimes screw over my opponents. And people get mad at me for that. I don't want people to end up, um, like, saying, like, oh, you only won because he, because he wasn't able to do that kind of shit. But we agreed on these kind of rules. So, really, there's no arguing, because, like, if he does lose because of, like, one of the rules saying that he couldn't have used, like, one of his normal strategies he'd use then oh well we agreed on those rules so yeah sub like comment and i'm out see you guys